The Dominican School of Philosophy and Theology is located in Berkeley, California, and uh, that is a very interesting location for us to be in. It is, in fact, a very Dominican location to be in. If we think of the first places of study of the Dominican order, especially the University of Paris, people were confronted with a new secular kind of learning, the reintroduction of Aristotle into the curriculum, but also the presence of Arabic thought and with that Islamic thought. All of that we encounter here as well. We are part of the Graduate Theological Union, that is many different kind of religions are present and so we engage that dialogue. But we are also connected through this union with uh, the University of Berkeley itself and which is a very secular kind of campus. And so that is what we want to speak to, but also to learn from. And so we engage that in many different kind of venues. Whether you are taking a philosophy class or a theology class, you are studying both philosophy and theology. Inevitably, when I teach philosophy, for instance, I'm also teaching philosophy not only for its own sake, of course, but also because uh, I know that it's going to be used by our students to also learn theology. And so there is an engagement, even as I'm teaching philosophy, with these theological questions. And very important theological questions like who is God and who is God to us. And uh, I think on the other hand, uh, that actually happens too in our theology classes where philosophy is also being utilized. Our theology teachers know that our students have a formation in philosophy as well. And so they're able to go back to those fundamental phil philosophical principles in order to be able to articulate theological truths in a much deeper, much more satisfying way. The Bay Area at large is interesting, of course, as people know from the Silicon Valley, uh, uh, the development of computers and artificial intelligence. Um, these are big questions and we meet many people who are working in that industry and have questions. And so that is one of the topics we are investigating as well, especially the philosophy of technology and we are engaged in that conversation in many different venues. And um, so it is an exciting place to be in. It's not always particularly friendly. To, to Catholic thought, but then we do also teach philosophy and so we can engage people even on a secular and a, a purely philosophical level and build bridges that way. And so it is a very good place to learn how to engage the modern and secular world with all its issues. Many of the issues that we could be tempted to think of as theological are actually philosophical. One example of this is when it comes to moral disagreements. Oftentimes we can think of moral disagreements as simply a difference in religious background or religious belief. And certainly religious beliefs do make a difference, but oftentimes the difference is also philosophical. That is, there's a fundamental misunderstanding of what perfects and allows uh, particular human beings to flourish and, uh, and be truly happy. And so those kinds of questions are philosophical questions. So philosophy actually presents us with a, a principled approach to the fundamental questions of human life that actually prepare us to do theology in a way that is truly enlightening for people and I think can actually allow people to transform their experience and their life. Um, so philosophy and theology work together to do that. The DSPT has started to focus on what we call God Made Manifest, beginning actually with this semester. Um, because we are living in a secular age, and that means in many ways God is absent from the public square, God is absent from the minds of people, God is denied in his existence, and so we are losing that point of orientation which is God himself, who is after all the goal of human life. So it is very important to make God manifest. The claim would be though that God is not absent at all. We just need to open our eyes and see how we can find him, how we discern his presence. And that is a matter of philosophy too. It's a matter perhaps of experience, but also of philosophical reasoning and philosophical reasoning in many different fields of knowledge. The God Made Manifest project uh, consists out of a consecutive 13 semesters with uh, different subjects being engaged by different faculty members each semester. And uh, so the idea is that students can indeed sign up for that, but they're also free to uh, take semesters off from that project. 
but it is an ongoing conversation on the topic. So it will help students also to write the theses, to have a peer group in which uh, to discuss their topics and stay engaged. It usually helps the students to finish their projects very well and also get a lot of input from other students, but also faculty members. Part of that is that we are trying to invite outside speakers, sometimes to fly them in if we have the money, but there are many also here in the Bay Area that are happy to engage us, sometimes prominent people too. We have done that with the previous project as well. And so students can get to know pe uh, people who are working in the field, who uh, can give them further tips perhaps, and do some network even, uh, networking with these people. And so there's a lot of opportunities for the students in that, and an ongoing conversation indeed on the topic itself.